Hey, Giannis, they made an announcement tonight. Most minutes played in a Bucks jersey. You now own that honor. I mean, how does that feel? It's a great, great uh, compliment. Uh, blessed to, you know, have this opportunity to uh, be in this position. Um, thank God that uh, he allows me to, you know, wake up every single day to do what I love and uh, go out there, enjoy the game and try to improve. Um, you know, um, but playing the most minute in the Bucks jersey ever, that's, uh, that's huge. You know, I feel like you know, it doesn't matter what you've done. Uh, you, you feel like you've contributed to uh, to a team. You know, to the history of this team, and um, it's it's an honor to have that uh, accomplishment. So, so I, I didn't know, I didn't know it's uh, early, but I tried to you know focus in the game. That's what I do. But uh, it's a it's a great accomplishment, and uh, I'm. Um, I'm Proud of everything uh, and all the people that have been around me and uh, all the hard work that I've put in, and I'm happy that God blessed me with the opportunity to wake up every single day to do what I love and uh, be good at it. You do a lot of affirmations on your social media posts. For example, your last post said, "You can't skip steps, keep building." Are these things that you're coming up with? Do you look for those affirmations? I'm just curious, uh, what inspires those type of captions after games? Some mental uh, reminders to myself, uh, even when I you know, do media, when I talk to you guys, I'm basically talking to myself, just reminding myself uh, you know, uh, what I have to do, uh, why I do what I do, um, that I have to improve, that I have to build good habits, that I cannot skip steps, that I have to be aggressive. Usually sometimes when I talk to people, I talk to myself just uh, so I can kind of keep reminding myself like, what brought me here um, to not take the wrong path. Uh, and sometimes I do it on social media too. Uh, uh, no, you got it. Hey, Anna, um in his post-game availability, Steve Kerr was asked about what you guys did on the defensive end that made it so difficult. And one of the first things he said, talked about was Javon Carter setting a tone for you guys, um, especially on the ball. What does what did he bring tonight that helped you guys out and just especially stepping up with Drew uh, sideline tonight? It was amazing. He uh, he did not pick um, Steph below half court, which is insane. You can go watch uh, the tape. Every time he picked him up, it was either full court or uh, at minimum half court. So you kind of you kind of set the tone uh, to whoever you're playing that. Tonight you gotta you gotta work, and obviously Steph is one of the best players uh, in the game right now. Uh, probably one of the best to ever play the game. But uh, at the end of the day, you know there's nobody that want the the work to be hard. You know, uh, and uh, when you're in that position, you know when you step on the floor and you play dif different teams, like they're gonna be ready for you. They're gonna try to make your job as hard as possible. And Javon did that tonight. You know, it just. Picked him full court, got into him, went over in every pick and roll, showed his hands, contested every shot, uh, make make him uh, dribble a couple times before he get to uh, half court to uh, call the play. Just he just made it tougher for him, and uh, that's what he does well, uh, and he did it extremely well tonight. Uh, <clears throat> when when you hit that three late. Um, I believe you stretched your arms out wide, maybe looked up to the sky and said something to yourself. Um, I'm curious just kind of what was going through your mind. It looked like it was kind of frustration or anger. Or, uh, I'm not 100% sure. So just kind of what was going through your head? No, uh, relief. Um, you know, trying to work on my game, uh, try to build good habits, try to be aggressive, try to get to my spots, um, try to make shots. Uh, I felt like there was a lot of uh, shots that I could make, make today, and it wasn't going in. Um, <clears throat> and thank God I was able to hit that one, and I just felt relief, you know. Uh, like I work extremely hard, and I, I need to seal the ball going. Uh, and sometimes you just gotta gotta force it in, you know. You just gotta keep being aggressive, <clears throat> keep getting to your spot, and uh, eventually it's gonna fall. And um, Thank God today that shot was one of the shots that uh, fall, and I just fall, 
relief. Uh, 17 free throws for you tonight. I'm curious. They didn't put Draymond on you a lot. He was typically a, a help defender. Um, I know he was very active in that role. Just what are you kind of thinking of as you're seeing those drives and them being so aggressive kind of in those help lanes, kind of reaching in late on drives? Keep trying to make plays. Keep trying to be aggressive. Keep trying to get uh, to my spots, no matter who's guarding me. Um, I'm probably going to face the best defenders in the league, um, the best defensive schemes, double team, wall, triple team, everybody in the paint, uh, people getting the passing lane, people trying to get in charges, but um, just keep having that mentality. Don't ever leave that mentality of getting in the paint, keep making plays, finding your teammates, being aggressive, get to do your spots, keep improving your game, um, keep sharp, sharpening your tools. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the answer. Um, middle of the third quarter, there was the, the fan ejection, um, a 10 second, a delay a game, a technical. What was, was it hard to stay focused in there? What was kind of going on, at least from your vantage point with that whole sort of stretch, I think, but at a technical shortly thereafter too? Um, was, yeah, I guess your perspective on that. Um, a lot of back and forth, um, a lot of technicals. 10 seconds violation, three seconds violation, delay of games. Um, what else? A lot of uh, fouls. Uh, but this is part of the game, you know. Uh, that's what the referees uh, saw, and um, you just gotta, you know, trust the judgment, keep playing the game. Obviously, it's kind of, kind of slowed down the momentum and uh, the energy of the game. Uh, but uh, I don't think it was once. I think it was going. You know, both ways. Like so, both teams kind of slow down uh, their momentum. I feel like uh, we had momentum. We gotta slow down. They had the momentum. They, then it slowed down for them. So, as I said, you just gotta you know trust their judgment and uh, keep playing the game and keep focusing on things that you can control, uh, which is how you perform for your for your team and do what you can do uh, to win the game. You can't control how the game is going to be refereed, you know, uh, and how many calls they're going to be, they're going to make in the third quarter. You know, we can't we can't control that. So I try not to worry about that as much as I can. Uh, you guys were able to win tonight without Drew. Played most of the season without Chris. Just kind of maybe what stands out or uh, is impressed you about the way you guys have been able to uh, play this season with missing a lot of your, you know, some of your key uh, guys. Obviously, Drew is a big part of who we. We are, and uh, he makes our team way better defensively and offensively. He play mix for us. Uh, he's, uh, he scores the ball for us. Uh, and obviously not having him, it's, uh, it's a big uh, miss. But uh, I think uh, guys just did a good job stepping up. I think uh, Jovan was a really good tonight, uh, defensively and offensively, playmaking. George Hill was really good. Wes gave us some good minutes. Pat was good. Like. We have a lot of guys that can, you know, step up. We have two talented players that, um, in any other team, that could be really, really good. They could be the go-to guys, <clears throat> Marjan and <clears throat> and Jordan. You know, so <clears throat> so I'm never like worried when uh, people go down because I know like we are very, very uh, deep team. Uh, Grayson was really good tonight, also. Uh, and we have arguably one of the uh, best shooter, young shooters in the league right now, AJ Green, that at any moment he can step up and make shots for the team. He did it in Orlando for us, gave us some uh, good energy, um, gave us some points, uh, knocked down shots and kind of gave us momentum to win that game. So obviously Drew is a very big uh, part of who we are, but our, our team is is deep. So no matter who goes down, even if I go down or Chris goes down, like we have a really talented group that can step up uh, and help this team be great. Uh, yeah, it's going back to that incident in the third quarter. Um, when, you, <coughs> when you were shooting free throws, uh, Draymond was getting into it with a fan, and he said that the fan was threatening his life. I'm just curious, did you hear anything to that effect or just what is sort of from your vantage point? Like, how has, has there been any issues with fan behavior? I know there was something with Russ a few weeks ago here, too. Um, uh, no, I was trying to focus as much as I can, as I could um, to make the free throw. Obviously, I was I could hear a back and forth between uh, Draymond and somebody. 
um, did not hear what uh, was going on, and even if I did, I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think that's my you know place to jump in and comment on that. But uh, obviously, I heard the back and forth, but I was trying to focus as much as I could to make the free throw, and I think uh, the way it's handled, um, it was very professional. You know, he maybe you know I don't know if he got. As you said, uh, his life got threatened. You know, you just go to the referee and you say it, and uh, you know whoever it is, he gets uh, escorted out instead of just going back and forth with the family. Like I feel like it's not, it's not uh, worth it. You know, you can just we have the the, the power and we're in the position to just go to the referee and say like that guy is bothering me. He's, you know, he's uh, talking bad about me or whatever the case might be, and uh, immediately they're going to take action. It doesn't matter if he said something or he didn't say something. They're going to take action and. Uh, they're going to kind of remove uh, the fan from that situation and the player from that situation. So um, I think the way it's set up is uh, it's good. It protects uh, the player, it protects the, uh, us. Uh, but uh, as much as I can, I just try to focus in in myself uh, and me shooting the ball in uh, 9.5 seconds and not 10 seconds in the free throw line.